Hello everyone, welcome to Laptop Repair Zone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix HP ProBook 450Z4 laptop not turning on. As you can see, I plugged in but charging white LED not glowing. So let's try to fix it. Please subscribe. Press the bell icon. So first we need to disassemble this laptop and take out the motherboard from this laptop. It will take you some time. This is the motherboard number. No physical damage or liquid damage in this motherboard. So let's check step by step all the required voltage is present or not. At first I need to plug in. As you can see no charging white LED is glowing. So at first I need to check 18.5 volt is present or not. Okay, 18.5 volt is present. This is the first MOSFET. Here must be 18.5 volt is present. Okay, no volt is present here. Let's check the gate voltage. This is the gate. Okay, gate also zero. So in this case, this motherboard 18.5 volt line can be shot to ground. Charging IC can be bad. So at first, I need to check any short to ground or not this is 18.5 volt line okay no short to ground i check also i check also here as you can see okay no short to ground now i will check charging ic its location is pu14 charging ic number is vq24780 this is the charging ic so at first i need to check vcc voltage for this ic in pin number 28 plugged in okay 18.5 volt goes to this ic vcc 28 number pin through this register this register number is pr19 so first i need to check this register here must be 18.5 volt is present so let's check okay as you can see 18.5 volt reduced to 17 volt other side of this register okay it's only 1.8 volts so let's find out why it's 1.8 volts okay i try to zoom in as you can see this resistor is burn out so i need to check this area first this capacitor connect with this ic and this resistor so first i need to remove this capacitor ok 
okay remove this capacitor and this resistor also now I will check this capacitor short or not okay this capacitor showing value that means it's short I show you as you can see this capacitor showing value it should not showing value so we confirm this capacitor is short now I will replace this capacitor and that resistor which is burn out okay this is my donor board I take a capacitor resistor from this motherboard okay replace is done okay no lights oh sorry let it cool for a few seconds okay as you can see the light is glowing i show you again light is glowing okay let's check the charging IC VCC voltage okay as you can see 18.5 volt is present other side here also 18.5 volt is present let's check this MOSFET okay get okay get voltage is present now here also 18.5 volt is present so after change the capacitor and this burn resistor our problem is solved so now i will check the display is okay or not Okay, plugged in okay. turning on it's display also okay so I successfully fixed this problem this is very easy to repair this motherboard if you follow my video how to i repair how to i check step by step all the voltage so guys thanks for watching if you like this video please don't forget like comment share and subscribe thanks again